My name is Kurt Anderson. I am a senior vice president with Five Links, and I help entrepreneurs find their way. Cool. All right. If you can, just you know, give a brief history of what you've done in the past, and you know where you're at now. Okay. Uh, what I've done in the past, uh, I worked at several, several jobs, just like most people. <laughs> um, I originally got my professional start at Bank of America. Uh, did, did really well there, but corporate America um, ended for me in about 2007. Uh, I wanted to really make more money, but I couldn't do it in that corporate background uh, without moving to a different area. So I did other things, like I had a, a business where um, I actually had a valet company, and um, I did things with that. Uh, but then things really took off for me when I started a nonprofit organization with a couple of my friends called the Coalition of Young Black Professionals. I met a ton of people there. I met major contacts that would really help me throughout my career, and they still do today. Uh, we ran that nonprofit for about 10 years, and uh, we gave scholarships to kids entering Norfolk State and Hampton University every year, and we gave food away as well during Thanksgiving. Uh, but then after that, um, I started throwing the events that we associated with, the, with that business. I started doing them for profit. And I had a really good run as what most people call being a party promoter. And um, I had a good run through a bunch of parties, made a bunch of money, made, made it, you know, met a bunch of people. Um, and then parlayed that into um, being a part owner of a nightclub in Virginia Beach called the Ultra Lounge. And here is where I got my true start as an entrepreneur. It was ups, it was downs, it was good, it was bad, it was fun, it was wild, it was everything you could think of in a business. Uh, but at the end of the day, I learned a ton about business uh, before the club ultimately shut down late 2009 uh, because the city wanted to widen the road. So found myself back home in Baltimore not too long after. This is where I'm from, originally from East Baltimore. And just had to start over, had to go back and get a regular job, which sucked couldn't stand it. I went from being um, in the nightclub business and having a nice lifestyle, making good money, to working a job with a lunch break, with a start time and an end time and a uh, boss and all these other things that I had just grown away from. So I looked for something else and I found a business called Five Links. Never really heard of it before. Um, some of what I did here um, I wasn't too sure about. So. A young lady called me and she hit me up. She said, do you want to, um, you know, I heard you were doing well when you were in VA. Now that you're back in Baltimore, maybe we need to connect. Well, this was my middle school girlfriend. Hadn't uh, heard from her in 20 years. And we linked up and what was supposed to be a business uh, lunch wound up being our first date. <laughs> a few months later, uh, we were um, uh, well into a relationship. And then I got started into five links because I saw the way she was living. I saw how well she was doing for herself and I wanted in. So I wanted to get started because I wanted really to find a way that I could match my income or even make it better than it was at the nightclub industry but get my time back because I spent so much time in the day working my business. So with this I said you know what I see people working little hours or they work hard for a little while and then they can kind of fall back and still make the same kind of income if not better. So I got started because of that residual income. And once you make that residual, that first residual check, you know it's a wrap. What has been the biggest lesson that you learned from owning your own nightclub? Um, the biggest lesson that I learned uh, back on, you know, owning a nightclub was that um, everything matters. You have to pay attention to every single detail and you are completely responsible for everything. So much different than a job where you just handle your task. But at a nightclub, you're responsible for every single detail, and if you don't do it, it won't get done. And you have to have that mentality. You have to have a go-getter mentality to want to be better every single day. So uh, that's probably one of the best lessons I learned. And a nightclub or being an entrepreneur, you have to do more than what's necessary. When you work a job, you do just what's necessary. That's the difference. What is the best advice you ever received? As far as business advice. Best business advice. That's a good question. It's the best business. Let me think on this one for a <laughs> minute. I'm just going to spit something out for the camera. Let me... In short, the best business advice that I've ever received was get it done. And what that means is that life won't stop happening. Things are going to go wrong. You're going to go through ups and downs. You're going to have struggles. But just don't stop. Just keep going. 
until you reach your goal. Because when you do it, now you have been through something that other people will be inspired to do. So just get it done. Uh, the quote that we always say is, you can make money or you can make excuses, but you can't do both. Besides Five Links, what other business ventures are you working on right now? I know you got something coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, well, the next thing I want to do is um, I, I'm really looking forward to starting uh, uh, some, I guess most people call it motivational speaking, uh, but it really be like mentoring, and uh, but it'll be in a DVD format where we go out and we give entrepreneurs, up-and-coming entrepreneurs, um, tips to have success in their business. So. Um, my wife and I are going to do that together. It is our first true project outside of Five Links together, so that's going to be fun. Um, and then I'm looking for actually a franchise or business to buy or invest in. Um, there are several things that have caught my attention, and I'm just hashing out which one's going to be the best one. When my career is over, I want my legacy to be uh, Kurt Anderson was a guy who opened doors for many people. He worked hard even when he didn't have to, and now other people, other kids from the inner city can do something that they never would have imagined doing. So I want to open doors for up and coming entrepreneurs and I want my legacy to be based on hard work.